In this session, we'll look at a shortcut for managing multiple assemblies using Civil 3D's Prospector tab. On my screen, I have a corridor model that represents a large intersection. Around the outside, you can see the assemblies that were used to build this corridor model. Let's zoom in and we'll take a closer look. If I hover over an assembly, we can see its name. This one's called Primary Street Crown Normal, No Outside Lanes. This one is called Primary Street Crown Normal. This one is called Primary Street Crown Normal, No Curb Gutter Left. So, generally speaking, I have several assemblies. Some of them represent derivatives of other assemblies. All of them are coming together to build this overall corridor model. Now, when we create assemblies in Civil 3D, typically we place them here in model space, and from then on, we manage them graphically on screen. That being said, we don't have to manage them graphically. We can also manage our assemblies using the Prospector tab. Let's take a look. I'm going to zoom out and we'll center this. If I come over to Prospector, I can expand the Assemblies category. From here, I can see a listing of all of the assemblies that exist in this drawing. In fact, the assemblies that are currently in use have this small yellow triangle icon. Now, after seeing the assemblies over here, you may be wondering if it's possible to edit an assembly using this tab. We certainly can. If I right-click on Curb Returns, for instance, and choose Properties, I'll get the same dialog box as if I had selected that assembly in Model Space. Let's close this. Likewise, I can find the graphical representation of the Curb Returns assembly by right-clicking on it and choosing Zoom 2. This will take me right to its location in the drawing. Once again, we'll zoom out and we'll center this. Using the tab, we can also see assemblies that are not in use. I could delete these if I want to. If I right-click on this assembly, I could select Delete from the menu. In fact, if I'd like to go even faster, I can right-click on the assembly's header and choose Erase All Unreferenced Assemblies. I'll drag this dialog box over and I'll click Yes. And when I do, you can see the unused assemblies have been removed from the drawing. Let's zoom in on these assemblies on the right side. One of the challenges of having assemblies in model space is that we run the risk of somebody accidentally moving or deleting them. Fortunately, we are not required to have these graphics on screen. If I select an assembly, for instance, I can right click and choose Remove from Model Space. This will remove the graphics but retain the assembly here on the Prospector tab. Let's do another. I'll select this one. I'll right click and choose Remove from Model Space. Let's zoom out and we'll center the drawing. Same as before, if I'd like to go even faster, I can right click on the assembly's category name and choose Remove All from Model Space. And I'll click Yes. From now on, if I did want to make some graphical edits to an assembly, I could simply right click on it and choose Insert to Model Space and then place the assembly on screen. When I'm finished with my edits, I can remove the assembly again by selecting it, right clicking and choosing Remove from Model Space. Another benefit of the Remove from Model Space feature is that you can use it to store popular assemblies inside a template drawing without having them displaying on screen. Finally, we'll wrap things up by double clicking the mouse wheel to do a zoom extents. So when you're working with Civil 3D assemblies, remember that you are not required to manage them graphically. When you get a chance, try accessing them through the Prospector tab. By leveraging both of these management techniques, you can add even more efficiency to your corridor modeling workflows. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.